why would I switch out a gown for a penny? Welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Jackson and I'm going to be bringing you guys a cute little video today of what I've been purchasing over the last couple of weeks. My son is about to start kindergarten and your girl has been freaking out. Okay. Stress on 10,000 trillion. Okay. It's a lot right now. And what do you do when you have stress? You start shopping. So your girl has been running bags. Okay. Bags literally literally <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys what i have been purchasing over the last couple of weeks getting ready for fall upgrading my wardrobe um you know figuring out my style and my makeup so i'm going to show you some little keys of what i've been purchasing okay but before we start this video if you are new to this channel because i still am a new youtuber okay make sure you subscribe to my channel i love to talk about fashion street style feminist style okay your girl is really trying to rediscover her style so i'm taking you on my journey but we're also talking about hair okay makeup style all of that life you know i love running it down so if you are unfamiliar with me and you love this video you like the vibe so far go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video also and also i'm gonna shamelessly plug my ig because your girl is very active on there follow me at nicole jack on instagram and i would love to connect with you guys and let's get right into this video so guys we are gonna go ahead and start with makeup I'm gonna show you guys what I purchased from Sephora this is my first little bag I have honestly I picked this stuff up maybe like two weeks ago and a lot of my stuff has just been sitting in bags because I needed to film this I wanted to film this to show you guys what I've been purchasing all right so the first thing that I purchased was which I've opened this is the only thing that I've been using um, but the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I love these. I don't know if it's going to focus, but I'll try to pop up a picture. Um, but I watch Kira Amonique. Love Kira. She a vibe. If you're watching this girl, I love you. But um, she uses these pills um, and she swore by them because uh, they make your skin nice and smooth. Glass skin. Okay. I work with Koreans and I know all about that. And I love me some glass skin. And I started using this maybe like two months ago and this right here is amazing. It smooths out your skin so good, like amazing. Um, it comes in like these little packs. So it comes in exfoliating and smooth and then an anti-aging neutralizer. Um, and I use these once every other day, usually at nighttime. And y'all, they make a difference. They smooth out your skin. I really feel like, like pores wear. Pores beer, sis. Pores nowhere. Because this right here is amazing. So I re-upped on these. I usually get the testers. So it comes in the five treatments. They have ones um, like a pack that comes with more treatments. But y'all, I'm not trying to run a bag on just these pills. I, I'm not there yet. Okay. I have not committed yet to these pills. So I get the five treatments. And I want to say... I'm going to drop the price right here because I can't remember. But yeah. These peels are amazing they don't like actually peel but you just massage it, the towelette in your skin and then you let it dry so amazing pick these up i would recommend anybody who wants to smooth out their skin especially if you get it to a clear state to use these because i mean your makeup will look um, like amazing in it amazing and speaking of makeup i'm going to show you guys i picked up two um I picked up two concealers because right now I am using NARS um, concealer, but I really haven't committed to it. It's not really doing it for me. So I picked up two concealers to try. Um, I went into Sephora originally wanting to pick this one up, which is the Beauty Blender Concealer. Um, it's the Airbrush Liquid Lip Liquid Whip Concealer, and I got it in the color Tan Pecan. And I bought this because, again, another YouTuber, Elise Face. Girl, if you watching this. I love you girls too. Okay. <laughs> vibe. I feel like all the YouTubers I watch like we vibe. Like I know if I meet you in real life, we got the vibe. But uh, Aaliyah swears by this and it is a thicker concealer. So I wanted to pick this up and try it because I am looking for something that has a little bit more fuller coverage, that is thick, long wear, 
and um nars really isn't just doing it for me right now so i picked up this beauty blender concealer but then i also because um the person at sephora recommended this too they said it was a good concealer so i picked it up to try so it is the ysl all hours concealer i got it in the warm tan and she said that this one is a lot thinner than the beauty blender one so i really just wanted to test and see which one works with my vibe which one has better coverage but also i am interested because i would love to get like an everyday concealer which i could use for the ysl and then a thicker one when i'm going out i need a little bit more uh, full coverage you know i'm going on a date i'm trying to look <laughs> flawless okay airbrushed and that's what i've got both of these for so i think i'm going to do a video later on just letting you know um how these apply to my skin how i like it um let me know if you would like to see that in the comments but yeah these are the two concealers i picked up i'm going to put the price down here too so you guys can see um how much i paid but yes these concealers they were highly rated at sephora i mean how every time i film they are literally cutting grass like it's about to rain. Why you gotta cut the grass now? So the next thing I picked up Sephora, I love to show a lot of skin, but I really wanted something that makes my skin glow and glimmer, especially with my blonde hair. I think it's just a vibe to have like a nice tan shimmering skin with my hair, especially when I'm wearing like topless shirts or two tops, tank tops. I just want glowing healthy um, skin to match my face. So I picked up this Tom Ford solo blanc shimmering body oil um and it was something that i didn't go in there looking to purchase i when i saw it i was like oh that's a vibe i want shimmering skin let me try this out so i haven't even opened it yet this is what it kind of looks like inside so if you see me wearing this in videos i'll let you guys know too but this i just went because i haven't been going to the pool to the beach i haven't really been tanning i want that tan shimmering body sexy voluptuous like oh sweetie you look <laughs> you look good okay you look yummy i want that skin so that's why i picked up this tom ford shimmering body oil um and yes a vibe I want this to be a vibe and lastly shout out to kira again i follow kira on instagram and she has been talking about this um seven virtues vanilla wood uh it's not gonna girl it is not i don't know how to work this camera yet i when i do i will get there but it ain't gonna focus but she picked up this vanilla woods um vanilla but vanilla woods rollerball um they didn't have the full one in my sephora store so i picked up the rollerball and i have been using this ever since i picked it up i i told you guys i haven't opened it well i opened this because it smells so good like straight up vanilla straight up vanilla y'all it smells so good so fresh i've been just wearing it as like an everyday um smell when i'm not really going out but i really want to smell good or i'm going to the grocery store so yeah i would definitely recommend this too. all right guys so now that i showed you all the beauty products that i'm using let me show you guys the clothes that i've been purchasing but i have been shopping at zara i'm gonna show you guys what i got so low-key the first thing zara you know how zara they pick up on trends and anything that's really popular they're gonna make it in a more trendier affordable price right so zara basically copped a whole skims collection okay they saw that kim kardashian is making money and they like nah sis we can replicate that too so zara has come up with their own basically skims easy wear collection too so i picked up two pieces first is uh these pair of shorts right here and they're super cute they're they have the lining in them as you see these are a size medium large and they were $19.90 and again just a super easy like biker short to wear in like this cotton material um of course it's gonna make your butt look super big <laughs> we love to see it okay and um yeah just an easy overall biker short i love biker shorts like hello we got them on right now i love a good pair of biker shorts i think it just fits my style better it accentuates my butt like who can go wrong they're always in style for me so these are just everyday wear that i can wear with anything and i love anything nude like anything that is a nude color 
I am down for it looks like my skin I will say I have a pair from pretty little thing that's like a new pair like this and people literally think I have on no shorts but I like these because they're thicker like um, they feel like they have a little bit of extra light I don't know cuz I'm looking at them now and you can kind of see in between so I you know I'm hoping when I try these on they are not see-through but yeah y'all these were $20 really good price point and love to see it all right, so this is the second piece that I got, and it's like a little cute camel bralette, and um, it has this low neck, which is super cute. It fits my boobs so perfectly. I wear a 34C, so I don't, you know, it, it don't take that much to cover my boobs, <laughs> really, and I can go braless a lot of times, so I really am thankful for my low cup size okay um but i got this in a size medium if it's just right for me and it costs $17.90 but it's a, just a cute little everyday bralette that i can wear i love it that i can just dress it up or down like i can wear these with um some uh, straight leg pants that are high waist I could wear these just around the house with some sweatpants like this is like an everyday staple and it's kind of like the Kim Kardashian scams line um but it is to me like a little bit more thicker which I like yeah this is just like a cute everyday lounge piece something I wanted to wear especially in the house since I'm still not going nowhere um <laughs> We're all stuck in the house at this point. So, yes, yeah, just an everyday piece to wear. All right, so I picked up one last thing from Zara. And it's just, like, something that I saw that was really cute and different. And not a lot of people I would see wear. But it is this cute top, which I want to say it's um, a little bit of a cropped right here. But it's very tailored. And it has a little bit of a neckline. It's super cute. It's in this gray metal color. I'm not sure if the color, I think it, you can see the color from here but it's in a size medium and I paid $35.90 for it and I thought this was just like such a cute top especially with the sleeves that looks really masculine with a feminine touch too really like tailored and I can wear these again I'm picturing them with like a high-waisted pants that straight leg um with the cutoff um it has the slits on the side just very cute and feminine with this but has like a nice masculine feel or even just like some leather pants to wear too this would completely be a vibe um so yeah i just wanted something a little bit different something that you know is everyday and minimal but you know has its own style so yes such a vibe i'm so excited to wear this i don't would definitely wear my hair like up in a ponytail or even in like a cute little bun i wouldn't wear it down um because this is such a textured um and like a, a nice it's such a textured simplistic but very unorthodox shirt so i would want to put the focal point on this instead of you know my hair kind of blocking the focal point of my outfit so yes so it like such a vibe so cute let me know what you guys think i think this is perfect for like the fall going into the winter time uh, one thing i would note too it does have these side zipper this side zipper to make it easier to get into so it has the back zipper and the side zip zipper so if you do have any trouble getting into it it's you know they Zara made it away so that it's easier to get into so I love that I love the detail of it such a cute copped shirt again for $35.90 it's not like expensive at all and it looks very much designer I love it so I was actually looking I realized like when I was going through my wardrobe that I don't have a good tank top like I don't know how I don't have any tanks in my uh, wardrobe. So I really just didn't want to go to like Zara or H&M and buy a good tank top. I wanted something with really good with really great quality so i ended up looking at net a -Porte, and they have a brand called um the line by k and i decided to pick up just this simple black tank from there but it i y'all i have to say the quality in this unmatched undefeated on period like 
she did what she did and that was period on this <laughs> like y'all the quality is such a good quality and one thing is like tanks i can wear this with just sweat like i y'all know i wear a lot of sweats i can wear this with sweatpants i can wear this with jeans i know that i'm going to get so much use out of this so what's really important is that it keeps up its upkeep when you wash it um so i just really wanted something that fitted really nice right like i have small boots but this makes it look like i have really big boobs and I love that <laughs> but I just wanted something that was going to be really great quality I paid I want to say it was like 45 on it and you know paid for shipping so it came up to like 50 something but again I'm so happy um net a -Porte, they ship so fast so it came I want to say maybe like two days um and it's this is just what it looks like it's just so I mean y'all probably like oh this is basic but y'all to have a really good quality tank is so important and I'm probably going to get the, it comes also in gray and in white. So I'm probably going to get those two too. So yeah, this is like something, these are like my Zara wide strap tanks that I wear all the time. Like this is a vibe like this where I would get it in every single color and I wear it with everything. And it's just, you know, again, the outfit you can wear something that you can pull together simple in the house outfit you can wear it to go to dinner you can wear this to a date you can wear this to lunch brunch whatever like y'all such a vibe so this i was so happy with i've been so tempted to wear it y'all because i told y'all i purchased this stuff i haven't worn it yet because i wanted to film this so you can see it but y'all I'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow. Y'all probably gonna see this on the gram soon. And yeah, I mean, but we gonna style it up, cute it up, accessorize it up, make it a vibe, make it a look, and yeah, this this I love it. We love to see it. We love to see a good tank. Okay. All right, y'all. So I ended up purchasing something from Pretty Little Thing. It just came in. I want to say yesterday. Um, and of course, as a typical, and of course, as a typical influencer, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna wait to unpackage this so you guys can see it. So it's gonna be two unboxings. This one for Pretty Little Thing, and we got a cute little something from Dior. So I'm gonna unpack it. So I'm going to unpackage these two so you can see, you know, first impressions, what I think. Okay, so let me see. Pretty Little Thing is a hit or miss sometimes because some things I get from there are so good, some things are like trash. Like, I got a two set biker shorts from there that came in a black and a gray. And the black, actually, the black that I have on right now fit perfectly, okay? Make my butt look so good, but the gray don't even fit. And they're the same size. Like, make it make sense, pretty little thing. Get it together. So, I'm hoping that this stuff in this bag... So I'm hoping that this stuff in this bag works out. I know the jeans will be. I purchased these jeans before. I'll tag the picture right here that I wore them in. But I loved it so much. I wanted to get them in a ash black color. And they are the, the washed gray split hem straight leg jeans. So they're like, you know, the trendy jeans that have, oh my God. Have, you know, It's the jeans that have the split in the end. But I wanted just a gray color. Um, I didn't want, so they had options to buy the black one. I don't like buying black jeans from like fast fashion places because they fade so fast. And that's just not a vibe for me. I don't want to wear, like sometimes I just want black jeans. I don't want a faded black jean and then like a really true to black top. Like that gets on my nerves. So I thought the next best thing was to get a nice like gray kind of um gray jean that's still dark but i you know it doesn't look like it faded so again it's high-waisted i got a size bruh these are a size 12 these are a size 12 those are a size 8 all right so i got a size 12 didn't mean to get that so we're probably gonna have to try these on and see how these fit because the eight set I got they fit just fine and I'm looking and now I see that the other pants that I got are also in a size 12 <laughs> so I got three pairs of pants um the next thing that I got hold on I swore I didn't get a 12 in these I'm pretty sure this stuff is gonna be too big so I got a, and I specifically got a smaller size because I got a bigger size last time and it didn't fit. And these are size 12. I know I got size 8. Like, I know I did. 
like how do I y'all I did I got size 8 they sent me size 12 I know I'm not stupid oh maybe I am stupid maybe it's an 8 UK maybe it's 8 UK maybe it's size 12 UK 8 American oh we're gonna try it on but I got yeah this looks small okay this all right yeah we would just try it on this is a hot ass mess but I got um the jeans look too big though but I got these charcoal ultimate joggers and I just wanted some gray joggers to wear that are high waisted and like not too baggy on me and I could wear this with like the tank that I got but I just wanted some more sweatpants to wear like around the house that are high waisted will look really like the sweatpants that I have are like a little loose fitting a lot more tomboyish I wanted something that was like a little bit more tighter so I got this gray color I got this gray color and then the last thing I got was this black color it's the black ultimate sweat joggers again it says the size 12 but I'm pretty sure it's a US size 8 and it's just a pair of black joggers Wear. all right guys so the last thing that i am going to unbox is my little something that i picked up from dior um i just picked up something really small again y'all already know the whole spiel the whole deal okay with me not doing big purchases with designer um big designer purchases right now but this is something that i have been eyeing and i wanted and i picked up because i purchased the louis vuitton one um like a month or two ago and i completely love it i wear it all the time i get so many compliments that i wanted to buy another one and the one that i was eyeing was from dior uh so we're going to do a cute little dior bag unboxing or unwrapping whatever whatever it's called so i'm just going to untie it have just the dior right here for my purchase and um my person's card it's only one dior here in the dmv area which is in city center downtown dc so that's where i got it from and it comes in this cute little barrel like you would think i'm getting like a like a lip gloss in this barrel just take it off and y'all wait till you see this print okay obviously you know it is a scarf a head scarf that i'm going to plan on wearing for my hair um since i mentioned the louis vuitton one but y'all <sighs> wait till you see such a cute one look at this it's in a hound's tooth like y'all and it's it's like a cute i want to say like cream tannish Hounds too, and y'all. Wait till you see my favorite part. Y'all, look at this. Oh my! When I saw this, I was like, yes, yes. And y'all know these scarves they sell so fast. Um, so let me tell you exactly what it is. So this is the Dior scarf Mitza and the hound's tooth and it comes in this black and cream color and it costs 230 dollars so with tax and everything it was 243.80 um and yes this is such a cute little vibe like i'm and of course you know they wear these with the um with your handbags which i think are so cute but I just love to wear them in my hair um, I love the material that's in my hair that's like the kind of silk because that's great for taking care of your hair it won't pull out your hair so anything that I wear in my hair is like a silk headband and these I think are just like their perfect little designer accessory to wear so yes y'all again this is my last little purchase so as you see I have my if you can see in the back i have my louis vuitton one that i've been wearing and yeah this is my next one now i will say i know you guys are noticing like a little color pattern and that's because okay so i do have blonde 
in my hair and I just feel like in my hair and with what I wear period on a daily basis it's either black white or tan or a nudish color and because my hair is blonde it just makes like anything that's black or white or tan will pop so much with my hair color so that's why I decided to get this color there was another one that I was eyeing but a lot of these again I will say they don't stay in stock like this was the only one left in the store when I went in there I had to tell them when I went in when I went there I had to tell them in at the front door what I was looking for because um, before I could come in because they were going to tell me right off the break like oh we don't have any in stock and this was the last one they had in stock so it's such a cute like simplistic everyday scarf to wear again I'm I, I love it it's so cute like Christian Dior I will say has like the feminine side of me right now y'all know I am like tomboyish sneakers and everything but Christian Dior is like the cute girly feminine want to look pretty you know bag and brand and I'm loving that vibe right now so yes y'all these are my two cute little scarves to wear in my hair growing my little collection I'm like trying to eye now what else I'm loving right now but I think I'm going to chill for now with the scarves go between the two and then as my color um we're doing a little bit more to my hair so as um, I switch up my hair a lot more than I would decide what's my next one next one gonna be y'all I literally just had to look around to make sure because I've been buying so much but I think this is everything that I've been purchasing this is what I have caught for the fall and kind of the vibe that I'm going into um, I'm so excited to wear these for the gram to flex my little outfit I got my clip-ins now so your girl's about to be a whole mood okay <laughs> Birkin bag me out here all right but thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you guys are feeling any of my purchases what you guys are purchasing for the fall make sure you subscribe to my channel I promise y'all I'm gonna come out with more videos I know I have been slacking I'm telling you like getting my son ready for school has just been so stressful and especially like I've gained some clients too so it's just a lot been going on in my household but I promise I'm going to bring you guys way more videos. So like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Nicole Jack. And I will see you guys in another video. Okay. Yeah, I'm obsessed with my hair. I'm sorry. I just got it done. <laughs> and I'm obsessed. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.